Hey, welcome back to Two Super Guys Trey Socks. I'm Dylan. And I'm Vinny. And November is upon us. The spy is going up, much to my dismay. I'm super short. Do I need to rethink my position? I don't know. But we're going to look at a couple very key factors that are going to tell us uh, where I think the market could be going. Let's get started. <laughs> Two stupid guys trade stocks. All right. So, this was not a great time for me, right? Because I had a sell chilling right here at 3.30. Uh, mm -hmm. Didn't get there. Now, mm -hmm. we've been coming up on actually fairly high volume, which, not a fan. All right? <laughs> now, quick reminder, this dashed um, gray line here is the 100 moving average. This okay. solid line that you can't see because of these trend lines, this is the 200 mm -hmm. moving average. Now, I'm going to delete these trend lines. I just wanted to have them there uh, for people to see. We are still in downtrend. It's 100% okay. confirmed. It's not even close, right? Lower high, lower high, lower high, uh, lower, 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 Okay? Yeah. It's still happening. Now, let me get rid of this line. Hmm. And remove. Okay. I've heard some people arguing for a uh, head and shoulders, so reverse head and shoulders pattern there. Have you heard that? It It is possible. The problem is, you know, people are right 50% of the time, and then it goes lower, and then they call another one. They just keep on calling it until it happens, right? Now, yes. I'm not going to lie. I'm sweating, all right, because I was up 35% on my shorts, but I wanted to stick true to my plan, and now I am at break even. Not mm -hmm. dope for me. All right, yeah, so I'm gonna make stinks. some decisions here. Now, we are coming up here. I'm hoping we turn around. However, I think we could have a test of this 200 moving average again. Now, Ooh, again, video. wow. I think we could, 410. Ooh. I did a video, this is the mag magic average, okay? This is, this is the money maker and where we can determine where the market's going. Qs are a little bit lower, all right? Tech is getting hit a lot heavier. This is still a much more traditional downtrend where we're having consolidation. If you see this chart, you're not even worried. You're like, oh, okay, everything's fine. Who cares? All right? Yeah. Now, one thing I want to do before we go back is I want to look at the weekly. Okay? Mm. So this is the weekly 200 moving average right here. All, All right. right. We came down here. Let me get rid of this crap. We came down here and we bounced up and now we're hitting, this is called the 20 EMA. It's, it balances the last 20 weeks uh, with the more recent weeks having more weight than the previous 20. So we are still in a very confirmed downtrend fairly perfectly. It's just getting to the point where we need to make a decision. However, mm. are we going to see lower lows or is this a reversal? What are you thinking? I think we're going to see lower lows, but... but Let's go Call to the crazy. presentation. Let's, <laughs> let's right. see what this looks like. So, yeah. here's some big events that need to be on people's radar. Go ahead and go to the next slide. There yeah. Go. So, November's coming up. All right. Okay. The past 20 years, the Dow, I hate that the Dow is always measured for this, not the spy <laughs> the Qs. It's so yeah, st yeah. No. stupid. No one cares. Yeah. The Dow, uh, goes up an average 1.9%. Since 1983, it's 1.2%, 1 and historically kicks off a six month bull stretch. Right? Yeah, yeah, the old Santa rally. And then the old you know, Santa January, rally. February usually do pretty well too. It's also positive about 80% of the time in the last 20 years. That's a lot. Wow. That is, but don't forget in the last 20 years, how many years have we been in a bull market? We've been chilling since 2009 in a bull yeah. market. Exactly. So that indicator, nah, I'm not so sure about that. Agreed, useful, which but. is why the next slide maybe helped me out yep. a little bit more. So I love it. This a huge week is coming, okay? Everyone knows about the possibility or likelihood of a 0.75 increase yeah. coming Wednesday, which is the 2nd of yes. November, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, November 2nd. Payroll numbers, which I almost... Think are going to be a lot more telling will be out friday okay 
most people are expecting, and this is non-farm payroll numbers, most people are expecting a 0.75 increase. It's more the December numbers that are up in the year. Yeah, exactly. Right? We just did a separate video talking about PC inflation, the same thing. Yeah, it's it's almost perfectly, it's definitely gonna be a 0.75, 90% chance, okay? The payroll okay. numbers, the interesting thing is, is if we continue, uh, continue to see wage increases or job increases, that could actually be bad for the market because that could le lead to the December increase being another 0.75 and even continued from there because they were also thinking about two more rate hikes in 2023. Now, yeah. if this number is bad, it seems weird, but the market might actually like that because mm -hmm. the likelihood of, of, of a 75 increase is going to go down quite a bit because they are holding on to, you know, whatever they can saying this is not a recession because the jobs market is fine. Exactly. However, <laughs> this is the most <laughs> important financial indicator on the planet. All right. The Phillies winning the World Series, which they're up two to zero after pretty large comeback. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if you watch baseball. Scary. You watch baseball? No, no, I don't. Okay. I don't know what that is. Me neither. I don't have seven hours a day to watch a game, <laughs> um, but I can respect being down five zero and then coming back six five. That's pretty wild. Yeah. The last three times Philadelphia had a World Series, two being the Phillies, one being the Athletics. 1929, not a great year for the economy. Kind of rough. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. 1980, when inflation was hitting like 10, whatever it was, right after during the oil crisis, and we had a horrible couple of years. Mm -hmm. And what other year do you think they won? If you had to take a guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go full sale and say either it was 2000 or 2008. <laughs> 2008. So, yep, there you go. <laughs> two zero right now. This is a big yeah. deal. Uh, I think it's fair to bet that if they win, you short and you just leverage everything because it's a hundred percent accurate and it's yeah. completely real. I mean, nothing can beat it. I, I'm really hoping it comes up and hits that 200 day moving average again. So maybe I can actually get on some of this more uh, short option op, uh, action again. I'm not. <laughs> I really hope. No. Freaking take. I know because I I'm at break even, so I gotta end two of them. So yeah. Uh, well, we'll have to see what happens. So I'm gonna stick through till Wednesday and then and then go from there. But I might I I might I'm definitely gonna add on two of them. My uh, my 2024 spy puts are still quite positive. It's my nice. 2023 spy puts that are not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes good sense because they're being quickly eroded by theta decay. So then that's not, not too off. It's not till July. But the problem is, is when I entered. I entered at 385. Gotcha. I entered the other one right. at 420. I like it. All right, guys. Tell us what you think, yeah. uh, where, where you think we're going. All right? Yeah. Boom, Catch please. the next one.